As you see, 3% of our military spending could end starvation on the whole earth. What a lot safer we would be. Yes, yes. And our wars all around the world in the last 20 years have caused four and a half million deaths. Those are human beings, they're children, old people, women, grandparents that have died as a result of those wars and our addiction. My wife Jan and I, since the Vietnam War, have been refusing to pay the 50% of our taxes to go for killing people. But we consider our brothers and sisters. And I'd like to share the letter that we have written to the IRS this year, together with our refusal to pay those taxes. Dear friends at the IRS, we cannot in conscience pay for the jet fighters and bombs which are killing the thousands of the civilians in Gaza and bombing their homes, hospitals, schools, refugee camps, churches, and mosques. This is a crime against humanity and is a war crime. We are Quakers and cannot in good conscience pay for the killing of other human beings or for pay for war and preparations for war. Human life is too precious to drop bombs on people because we do not like their governments. Developing a new generation of nuclear weapons that could put an end to life on our beautiful planet is immoral and insane. Giving the Pentagon hundreds of billions of dollars does not increase the security of our people. Real security requires increasing funds for education, health, and human well-being, and demanding a shift from militarism to diplomacy. People around the world see the climate crisis as the largest threat to our future, and it cannot be solved by the military. In fact, the U.S. military is the world's biggest polluter. The massive militaries of the U.S. and NATO did not prevent Russia from attacking Ukraine. Our tax dollars are being used to prepare for wars with many countries, including China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. We are, fi we are fueling a new nuclear arms race and a climate catastrophe. We need to redirect our tax dollars from forever wars and preparing for nuclear war and bring our tax dollars home to meet the needs of the American people. 53 53% of U.S. tax dollars go for wars and preparations for wars. So together with our IRS 1040 form, we are sending a check for 47% of what we owe, not to the IRS, but to, to the Department of Health and Human Services. Sending that together with our IRS form to the IRS. We ask that you designate all those funds for meeting human needs and none for war and killing. The other 53% that goes for war and killing, we're contributing to organizations working for peace and justice and for programs meeting human and environmental needs in the US and around the world. We join together with others to build what Martin Luther King called the beloved community. We hope and pray that all the taxes people, from people worldwide can go to meet human needs and address the climate crisis. We do have a choice. We can pay with what they want us to do so they can continue all these wars and get a nuclear war going which will end life on our planet. Or we can refuse to pay as a one cent. And if we do pay them anything, make your check to the Department of Health and Human Services. And if you can't bring yourself to withhold the whole 50 or 53 percent that's going for the military, refuse hundred dollars or at least ten dollars and twenty cents and write your own letter to the IRS. And if enough of us refuse to pay our taxes as 
uh, Al Haig, who worked with Nixon, said as he was looking out the window of the White House and saw hundreds of thousands of people marching, he said, let them march as long as they want, as long as they, they pay their taxes. Well, we're done paying for this criminal activity. Hope you'll join us in refusing to pay, as your conscience corrects, uh, refusing to pay for this madness and kill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.